Hi, my name is Alex with Data Tech, Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to teach you how to integrate GitHub with Jira. This is really, really important to get the most maximum value out of Jira as a developer. I do have a video coming up in the future where I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to use Jira as a developer. So you're going to want to make sure that you do this integration first and make sure that your Jira is talking and connected with your GitHub. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into an article first, and then we'll go into Jira. So in this article, all I did was Google uh, integrate GitHub with Jira, and this is going to bring you to the instructions. I'll have a link to the instructions in the description in this channel of this video below. And so the first thing that you want to do in Jira is we're going to install the free, make sure it's free because there's a couple of other plugins and I'll show them to you right now in a second, but make sure you get the free, the official one. You don't want to be paying for this free functionality. So we're going to install that plugin and then we're going to go through the configurations here. It's just five steps. It shouldn't be too painful. So jumping over to Jira, the first thing you want to do is go to the site, to the settings, and then click on apps. Again, you do need to be a site administrator to be able to do this. So if you're not a site administrator, talk to your Jira administrator to have them help you out with this. All right, so from here, you're gonna look up uh, GitHub or Jira as it's described. And you'll notice that there's a couple of different ones, right? So this is kind of where I was talking about. Make sure you pick the right one. This one has 101,000 installs. It's a staff pick. And most importantly, it's free. So this is the right one. So you're gonna go ahead and click on that and you're gonna click on the get now. This will take a couple of seconds. So Jira is essentially installing it and bringing it into your world. And now it's gonna be an available app, very similar to the other plugin that we installed a few videos ago, which was custom charts for Jira. So coming back into Jira, we'll see that we can now get started or manage the app. So we're gonna go ahead and click on get started. You'll notice that on the left hand side, we have a now GitHub section with the GitHub for Jira. This is where you're gonna come back and see other settings and your repositories and things of that nature, which I'll show you in a second. So per the instructions, um, after you do that, you click on that get started, and then we're going to select the connect to GitHub organization. So I'll do that now and I'll click on this button. And this is gonna redirect me over to your GitHub. Now, if you're not already signed in, it will prompt you to essentially sign in. So make sure you use your GitHub credentials for your own personal account. At this point, you do wanna notice that in the URL, we are in GitHub, we've left Jira. And so momentarily, you're gonna to have to put in the, your credentials, not for Jira, but for GitHub itself. And also, big caveat, you do need to be an administrator on GitHub. So if you're not the admin in GitHub, this will not work. And so you may need to, as a workaround, you may need to elevate in Jira, because there's two ways you can do this. You can either take your GitHub administrator, if it's not you, and give them administrator power in Jira. Or you go the other way, you're already the Jira administrator and you talk to your GitHub administrator and you have them give you a temporary administrator privilege so that you can do this. Regardless, you both need to be an admin in GitHub and in Jira. So once you do that, um, you'll click authorize Jira and assuming you have the right power, you're, you're gonna be taken to this screen here. You're gonna put the instructions again and we look at this. The next step is you're gonna install GitHub for Jira on a new organization. And what this is doing here is you're actually installing now Jira into GitHub. And so now it's like a two way street. So we'll do that. You're going to need to select whether you want to do all your repositories or just some of your repositories. I typically just select them all because my teams are always working on everything and then just hit install. And so now you're brought to this screen where again, if we're going through the instructions, it'll tell you to select connect GitHub organization and then click connect. So we're just gonna click on this connect. This is the right site. And then, then we're taking back to Jira over here. And this thing is going to uh, essentially go and find all your repositories. Let me click refresh here. It's gonna go and find all your repositories and it's gonna start adding them in. So this does take some time depending on the size of your repository. So be patient with it. Um, this will take a few minutes to a few hours. I've seen this done as, as quick as 30 minutes. I've also seen it take as long as two days. So again, it just really depends on how big your repositories are, how much information you have in your repositories. It's gonna take a few minutes, but once it's there, once it's connected, 
we're going to do some really, really cool and powerful stuff. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you drop a like because you're not going to want to miss out on those videos. In my next video, I'm going to show you as a developer how you can really leverage the fact that you have GitHub integrated with Jira and really see a lot of insights into GitHub. And so make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you drop a like. And if you have any questions about any of this process, please let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you check out the description because the link for this uh, and for these instructions on how to integrate with GitHub, you're going to find them there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm not going to bore you here and watch you see. Oh, there it is. See, it only took a few minutes. Um, but now that they're integrated, you'll get the green check mark. And that's it for now. We are going to, again, continue this in another video where I'm going to actually show you now that you have GitHub integrated, what can you do with it? So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.